and welcome to this edition of ArtSmart. Today we're going to paint some realistic ball trees. This is my guest, Sienna. Say hi, Sienna. Hi. And I'm Miss Langlois. <laughs> So for today's project, we we're going to be using some watercolor paper. It's better if the paper is a little bit stronger. We're going to be using tissue paper, already pre-cut into squares. These are going to be for the leaves, which we're going to crumble into little balls. We're going to be using some watercolor paint, some brushes and water, and then you'll also need some crayons. Oh, and some glue to glue the leaves on. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, first, Sienna, we're going to do a realistic ball tree. So, are you familiar with the Grinch? All right, so we're going to make Grinch hands. He's got big, long, green fingers, right? All right, we're going to start with the, um, the trunk of the tree. So, right in the middle of your paper, you're going to make, leave a little room for the roots, though. Make a line, just like that. A little longer, a little longer, stop. Okay, now another one. Not too skinny. It's going to be a a nice strong tree. And stop. Okay, let's make the roots first. All right, so I'm going to make it a little bumpy like this. And then in a point and come back, but don't connect it. <laughs> stop. All right. Now another one in the point. Make it go into a little point. I'll help you. Okay. Now we're going to make one last one. All right, those are our roots, okay? There's like a portal there. <laughs> okay, you ready? Now we're going to make the Grinch fingers. This part's a little hard. Are you ready? Put your crayon right here on this side of the trunk. All right, this one, we're going to bring it all the way to, to the, the yep, all the way to there. Ready? And then stop, all the way to the edge. A little bit more. You're almost there, perfect. All right, leave your crayon there. Ready? And now watch me first. We're going to come back to right there. Don't connect it. Leave it right there. So you're going to come back until right here. Can you do that? Perfect. OK, a little bit further. All right, now put your crayon right there, right where you stopped. OK, this time we're going to go all the way up to here. Can you do that? Watch. All the way up and stop. All the way to the edge of the paper. Perfect. OK, now leave your crayon there. And now we're going to come back right to here. Go to my finger and stop. All right, now this time straight up. Ready? Off the paper. All the way. Perfect. OK, now put your crayon back on there. And we're going to come, it's all right if it's a little squiggly, back down to my finger. Nice. All right. Ready? Keep. Oh. Oh, all right. You got it. Ready? Over here. And then back to here. Oh, that's a fat branch. Okay, now one last one. Off the paper and come back, and you're going to connect it to this line now. Wow. Awesome. That looks like a big Grinch hand, right? Ooh. All right, now, do trees have a lot of branches or only five? I know, but does a real tree have five branches or a lot of branches? A lot. Of a lot. All right, so we need to make some more. So put your crayon right here. Where? Somewhere on that branch, yep. So this is what you're going to make. You're going to go out, kind of like a little point, and come back. Out to here, and then come back. Good job. All right, now we're going to make another one. Out to here, and come back on this side. Ready? Out to here, and come back. Oh, that was a skinny one. Let's take another one out to here and come back. Now this one, out to here and come back. Out to here and come back. Pointy. See how they're pointy and nice and long? Can you do three on each branch? Now, a few more branches before we end. 
Are you ready for this? These are the branches that the leaves are going to go on. So these are going to be little tiny. So you're going to make, see these branches you just made? Yeah. You're going to make little tiny ones. Can you go around your paper and just make a bunch of little tiny branches for me? Yeah. Okay, on your own, you can do it. All right, now let's put that crayon back. Uh, yeah, let's put that crayon back. Do we have the green one? Yeah. Oh, luckily we broke it, so we have two. All right, you ready? All right, we're gonna make a hill behind the tree. The tree is in the foreground. The hill's I gonna be to in that. the background. Yes, you do. Oh, here you can use this one. You want the one with the point? All right, start right here. We're gonna draw a line, but we're gonna stop when we get to the tree. You don't want to draw the line through the tree. So go up a little. Stop. Good job. Now pretend imaginary line, imaginary line, imaginary line, and come on the other side of the trunk. Okay, ready? Start right here, and we're going to go to the other side of the paper. That's the hill in the background. All the way, all the way, keep going a little bit more. All right, excellent. Now we're going to make a few little things like this. What do you think that's for? What do you think that's supposed to look like? Grass. Grass, right on our hill. All right. You think you're ready to paint? <laughs> you ready to try it? All right. These are watercolor paints. So watercolor is the best to use with crayon because the crayon forms like a resist. That means it blocks the paint so it's not going to come out of the lines. Okay. All right. Excellent. All right, so to use watercolor paint, what do you think you need? Just water. And? Paint and? Water. water. Okay. All right, you're using the little one. <laughs> All right, so we need to wet, get that off your face. We need to wet the brush first, and we're going to paint the tree. So which color? Brown. Brown. <laughs> All right. So we're going to use some brown. All right, careful, okay? Can you try to stay in the lines and paint? All right. Dip a little, dip a little, go. Go for it. Good? Done? Mm -hmm. All right, let's put that in there. Rinse it a little bit. All right, now we're going to do the grass. Green. Green, right. All right, light so we're going to. Well, what do you like? It's up to you. I'm going to go light green, but you can do whatever you like. Light green. Light green? Okay. All right, so let's make it wet because these are watercolors. Got it? All right, I'm going to start with my sky. Is that all right with you while you finish your grass? What color do I need for the sky? Blue. Hmm, which color blue? Maybe this one? The trick to this is not using too much water this time.
paint is all done for a minute. Now, we're just going to let it dry for a minute and then we're going to add the leaves. The leaves are made out of tissue paper and I pre-cut them into little squares. This is the way we're going to make some leaves. What color can leaves be in the fall? Yellow, orange, brown, if they're really dead, right? Okay, so this is what you're going to do right now to get started. Can you do me a favor? Pick some colors that you like and roll them into little balls to get ready. Go like this and scrunch them into little balls. And that's how we're going to get ready for our leaves. You don't have to scrunch them too much. Just crumble them a little bit. Pick a whole bunch of different colors, okay? You make a little pile for yourself. I'll make a pile for me and you make a pile for you. You need a lot of them, so while that's drying, this is perfect. All right, you think it's dry? Looks pretty good, right? We have some to start and then we can make some more, okay? All right, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to take a glue and you're going to put little dots. Let's start with 20. Can you count that high? Yes. All right, can you do this? 20 dots on the tree. The two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. All right, now fill it up with those, okay? All right, would you like some more? No? You don't want any more on your tree? Okay. All right, how about a few on the ground? Yeah. All right, you put it this time. Try it. Let's do 10 all around the ground. How about some on this side? Over here. What happens to the leaves in the fall? Exactly. So we're going to put some leaves, a few on the tree and a few on the ground. And we're going to make them with tissue fall. paper because it's fall, right? Oh, you want a lot of leaves on the ground? All right. You could add a bird in your tree, a squirrel. Not now, but later if you want to. You could also add some clouds in the sky, some flowers on the ground, although flowers don't really grow that much in the fall, right? You could put some pumpkins on the hill. That would be really cute. Just trying some bark on my tree. Make it look a little more realistic. All right, this concludes our episode of Art Smart. Thanks for joining us.